In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the necessary files you need to install mods on GTA 5. I'm also going to be showing you how to install a mod menu, scripts mods, which are usually the fun mods, and weapon mods. Also, install mods at your own risk. I'm not responsible if you mess up your game files or something. All right, let's get into it. So the very first thing I'd like to do before installing mods on any game is to make a copy of all the game's files. The easiest way to do that is to go on Steam, right-click whichever game you want to do, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files. Then you'll see this path up here. Click Common, select GTA 5, right-click and click copy and then you can just paste it in here as you can see i already have a copy down here i like to do this because if you really mess up your game files in the modded version you can just delete this version and then rename the the other one to just regular grand theft auto 5 i don't know exactly how you do this if you're on epic games but i'm sure if you just google how to find game files from epic games launcher you'll be able to find it the next step is to install winrar this helps you read zip files just click download right here and then download winrar again you should see it in the bottom left here or you can go to your downloads tab on your pc and it'll be in here so anyway you click click it, you open it up, and then you click install. I'm not going to install it because, well, I already have it installed. And another thing you have to know about WinRAR is this. Basically, it's saying this is only a trial version and you can only use it for 40 days. That's not true. WinRAR is 100% free and uh, you can use it for however long you want. You'll just see this pop up anytime you want to open a zip file. Your free trial period has ended. You can just exit out of that and you'll be able to view your file. You don't necessarily have to use WinRAR. If you're more familiar with like 7-zip or another one like that, then you can use that instead. So after you've installed that, go down to the open IV link and and click download. You should see it pop up in the bottom left. Click run. Choose whichever language you want. Obviously, I'm going to choose English. Accept the agreement. I like having a desktop icon, but if you don't want one, then obviously you can unselect it. Click continue. Click yes. It'll install real quick. Now you want to open Open IV. You'll see you have a couple different games to choose from, but obviously I'm going to go for GTA 5. And now it wants to know the location of your GTA 5. Go to browse, and it'll usually find it right away. But if it doesn't, it takes you to this area. Go to wherever you have your GTA 5 installed. Mine's in new volume, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and GTA 5. And then just select that folder, click continue, click continue again, wait for it to start up, there we go. Once you have open IV open, go to tools, go to ASI manager, the top one and the middle one are the only ones you need to install. Be sure to click yes on this one, it pops up. You can install the bottom one, it's for the Rockstar editor, it allows you to have a bigger boundary for the free camera and the editor, but I don't do much with that so I'm not going to install it. You can then close this part, then you want to click edit mode, click yes to this, and don't know when you're in edit mode because you'll see this new pop up in the top left, see I'm not in edit mode and it's not there, and go into edit mode and it's there, so click new folder, and you're going to name this folder scripts. There we go. Now you can see we have a scripts folder. Then you're going to want to go back to your regular GTA 5 game files and you'll see the mods and scripts folder are here too. Next up, we're going to install script hook V. Click download. You'll see it pop up in the bottom left here. Select bin. Click extract to. I'm just going to extract it to my desktop. Here's the extracted version. Click into it. Select script hook V and D input and then drag and drop them into your GTA files. The reason why we didn't put native trainer in there is because it's just a really basic mod menu and we're actually going to be installing a, a lot better mod menu. Next up is script hook V.net scroll down and then click this it'll be right next to a cube open it up and then select everything but the readme and the license those are just text files click extract i'm again just extracting these to my desktop here they all are and drag and drop them into your gta 5 the next thing is native ui click the link in the description and then click the release.zip next to the cube open it up select both files extract two again i'm just doing to my desktop because it's easiest here the two files are and you actually want to drag and drop them into your scripts folder here they are in the scripts folder now we're going to be installing a mod menu it's called menu there are other mod menus you can install. I know Rampage is pretty good. Also, Simple Trainer is pretty good, but I just prefer Menu. And you don't want to download it from this download button or these download buttons. A moderator basically explains why the author isn't updating it anymore. They're updating it on GitHub, so click this link. Scroll down until you see menusp.zip next to the cube. Click it. Open it up. Select Menu ASI and Menu stuff. Extract. Once again, I'm going to my desktop. Once you've extracted them, you're going to want to open Open IV. Click GTA 5 for Windows. Click Edit Mode and drag and drop both files into there. Now let's launch GTA 5 so I can explain to you how to use menu. So once you're in story mode, click F8, click F8 again. From here, you can mess with the time. Basically, anything that has to do with the game, you can spawn cars just like that. You can make the car go really fast, <laughs> give yourself god mode, make yourself invisible. How to navigate the menu, you use the number pad, or you can use the arrow keys. So if you're using your number pad, it's 8 to go up, 2 to go down, and 5 to select stuff. And then if you're in the vehicle multipliers, it's 6 to turn it up, and 4 to turn it down. For arrow keys, it's pretty self-explanatory, up to go up, down to go down, and you click enter on something you want to select. And then it's backspace to get out of it. And it is 0 on the numpad to go out. Now I'm going to show you where to get different mods from, and how to install them. So I use GTA5mods.com. 
to get all of my mods. We'll download a scripts mod first because it's the easiest. So I'm just going to scroll through here until I find a mod I like. So I want to download this mod. It seems pretty cool. Once you click into it, don't download it from this download button. Download it from the current version because sometimes that won't be linked up to the current version. So click the download button. It'll take you to here and then click the big download button. This mod has a bunch of different abilities that you can do. So that's why I'm downloading it. All right, open up the mod you've installed. Once you open the mod, there will usually be a readme text for most mods. It'll tell you how to install the mod or known issues with it. Most script mods are installed the exact same way. You put the necessary files into your script folder. So you select both of them and then you can drag and drop them into your scripts folder. Here they are in the scripts folder. Let's launch the game and check out this mod. Here we are back in the game. If I click J, it should repulse everyone around me. Oh my God. Okay. Yep. Uh, apparently something's happening. If I click I, it should paralyze everyone around me. Y yep. There we go. And uh, loud noises are happening. All right. So that's pretty cool. But you may be thinking, well, what if I accidentally go into online with this? Well, here's what happens if you try to go into online. Play GTA Online. I'm going to go invite only session. Yes, I'm sure I want to quit GTA 5. Here we are loading into GTA Online. And there we go. So it won't even really let you get close to going into online with mods on. Don't worry. It's not like you can't play online anymore. I'm actually going to show you how to get into online. So I'm going to quit the game right now. You're going to want to open up your local files again. You see this file right here, D input 8.dll. I like to create a new folder on my desktop and just name it like GTA 5 mod file thing. So left click D input 8, right click, click cut, click into the folder, right click, paste. So D input 8 is no longer in your GTA 5 and you should be able to play online now. Let's go test it out. So when you're back in story mode, just go into online like you regularly would. I'm just going to go into an invite only session and we should load in just fine. There we go. I have loaded into my apartment. So if you try to use menu or any other mods you've installed in GTA online, it won't work because removing that D input 8 file makes it so that none of your mods will work. And I've been playing GTA online by just removing the D input 8 file for like two years now. And there's no chance that you'll get banned because, well, I mean, you're not doing anything wrong. And to get your mods back, you just put the D input 8 file back into your GTA 5. I'll go do that right now. Open the folder you have D input 8 in. Click it and then just drag it back into your GTA 5 folder. There we go. You can see it's back in there and all of our mods should be working again. I'm actually going to download one more different type of mod for you guys. Let's install a weapon mod. I'm going to find one I like and then get back to you. All right, Christmas wrapping paper bat looks kind of cool. It replaces the baseball bat and there are no known issues with it. So click download from the current version. Click download again once it routes you. Open it up and we're going to left click and extract this one and I'm doing desktop. Should be right on our desktop. Yep, here we are. And so you'll notice there's no readme file in this one. Sometimes instead of including instructions in a readme file, the author will just put them in the description. So this is where you want to go. For this one, we're going to need to open IV since it's an update and X64. Open up, open IV. All right, so this next part is kind of hard for me to explain, but I think if you just watch, uh, you'll get it better. So after update, you see how it's broken by a slash and then X64 and then DLC packs. It means you click update first and then it'll bring you into the update folder. Then you click X64, DLC packs, patch day 3NG, which is right here. DLC.RPF, X64, models, CD images, and weapons.RPF. And now you're where you need to be for this mod. So I guess think of this as kind of like a map or like directions on like what to click after what, if that makes sense. I'm sure it does. And now you're just going to want to drop the files, which when I do weapon mods, I like to do it twice just to make sure I actually like did it. <laughs> I guess, I don't know, maybe I'm just a bit dumb. Also, it's a good idea to click copy to mods folder and then put the weapons file in there so that you won't be modifying your actual game files. You'll just be modding the files that are in the mods folder. I'm not doing that though because I'm recording and it can take a while to copy the, the files into the mod folder. But if you want to be extra safe and not mess with your actual game files, then you should do that. Now, if we launch Grand Theft Auto, we should have Menyo back, the Gojo mod, and the Christmas wrapping baseball bat. We're back in GTA 5 and click F8. Menyo should work. Yep, here it is. And the Gojo mod should work. I think Jay did it's something. Uh, yep, it's doing something. Okay. There goes that guy. And we should have the Christmas wrapped bat. Okay, never mind. I don't have a bat. You can give yourself any weapon using Menyo. Melee baseball bat. Quip weapon. Yep, here we go. Jesus Christ. Almost got hit by that fire truck. But yep, we have the Christmas bat. Hey, calm down, man. Aw, oh, damn it, I missed. Let's hit these firefighters for almost hitting me. Are you kidding me? I missed again. Let's just give me super run and super jump in. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm an idiot. All right, but anyway, guys, I think I'm going to end it there. Be sure to subscribe and check out some of my other videos if you like mods on GTA 5. Also, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll try and answer them. All right, that's it. See ya.